Hey everyone, it's me, Arthur Cade. All right, Jim Jones and Chrissy Lang. So congratulations on the new show. 11 years, you guys are tying the knot. Talk to me all about the new show and what it's like to put this whole process on TV. You'll get to go on this journey with us, because that it was. Um, you know, we've done this a couple of times before. So, um, but it doesn't make it easy, <laughs> you know, to uh, let your life play out in front of a camera. Um, but we got through it. Jim, for you, obviously, you break through with the music. Now this is your third show. What has it been like transitioning and seeing your life play out on camera? People have kind of watched you guys grow up through this whole process. I mean, I, it's not that difficult. I've been in putting my life on camera for a lot of years. This is a little bit more concentrated on my family and my relationship. But it's cool. It's fun. It's, like she said, it's been a journey. There's definitely some ups and downs that we see you guys go through. Talk to me about some of the ups and downs that people can expect as they watch a show. Life, <laughs> like the relationship between me and his mother and his friends and it's just, it's, it's a crazy lifestyle we live and um, trying to find normalcy in all of it. For you, one of the subplots we see, Jim, is obviously, and it's in the bio, I love it, giving up the baller lifestyle and actually converting and becoming more, I guess, Domesticated, what has that been like for you? <laughs> it's a little bit different from when I started out in this industry, but you know, it's good. I got a son that I've been trying to raise, and you know, I've been with Chrissy for a long time, so it's a natural progression. I was having this is go it's ahead. not moving as fast as I would like, but you know, you got to let people move at their pace. Talk to me about 11 years. You know, it's so hard in this day and age to maintain a relationship. How have you guys been able to stay together this Babe, long? is it 12? Is it 12 now? Yeah, 12. see, and counting. <laughs> well, how have you been able to maintain the relationship? Um, well, you know, relationships have, have, like, they have their peaks and their valleys, but we remain friends, you know, through it all. Some days I want to choke him, some days I want to give him a kiss. That's just, you know, relationships. When you look at this is now the third show, mm -hmm. and you look back on the first show, what's the transition been like for you guys? How do you see yourselves back then versus how you see yourselves now? I don't know, babe, what do you think the difference is? Just maturing a little bit more. Things we were doing back then are way different now. We get a little bit older, we get a little bit wiser, but it's still the same premise. It's a crazy lifestyle we live, I mean, we're just the epitome of what a relationship is. You have your ups, you have your downs, but you know, and if this we, is where you want to be, usually you'll be there. You guys go to Miami for this show. Yes. What was that like? Well, you know, that's our place to go and recharge and refresh. And it became quite interesting there this time. Hmm. When you look at hip hop right now, Jim, I, I mean, I love your songs, man. Big fan. So when you look at hip hop right now, what are your thoughts on the state of music? Um, I love the state of music. Music is always evolving, but for the most part, music still writes to the uh, theme song to life and you know you just gotta get in tune with it I mean the business of it has changed a lot but there's still a lot of money to be made so you know you gotta you gotta figure out your niche and, and go for it did you I mean it, it, some of his songs have become anthems like they're like it's incredible what, what, what is that like when you when those songs are timeless at this point especially in in clubs and I mean you hear them every freaking time you're out it's crazy yeah so <laughs> it's crazy I mean you know you, as coming up as a kid, you would you, you'd like to be a star, and you know I was blessed to be able to do s certain things like that, and it's, it's cool. I mean, I, I count my blessings every day to be able to provide for my family and provide for her, and you know. As if I'm a separate bill. Like, are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> for you, Chrissy, obviously you've done so much as well. Talk to me about how being on TV has helped with your career. Um, I think it hurt, helps me personally. Like, I like people. I like to connect to people. So if people can watch this show and identify or learn or just be entertained, that's cool with me, you know? So it, it's like, it's my therapy. That's what has helped me more so than business. What have been some of the cool fan moments you guys have gotten? Because so many millions of people watch from Love and Hip Hop to, I'm sure, this show. What mm -hmm. have been some of the cooler fan moments, more fun ones? I think that it always shocks me when, like, 60, 70-year-old older white people come up to me and go, Chrissy girl, that Nancy is a trip. I don't know how you do it. Or, you know, I love that bulldog. Like, so it kind of reaches everybody. You know what I mean? So that's the fun part of it for me when it comes to the fans. For you, Jim, it's obviously music and TV. What do people usually come up to you 
and know you more for now? Is it, hey, love TV, love Mr. Jones and Chrissy? Like, what, what do they usually come up with? It depends on, on what type of fan it is. But for the most part, TV is so visual. You're so visible. So, you know, a lot of people connect to me about the show and about Chrissy most of the time. Do people have, like, relationship advice? Or are they just oh, like, they? oh, my God. Whether you want it or not, it's, it's always type relationship advice. Um, you know, a lot of people are like hanging there. If you love them, stay with them. A lot of some people are like, "Girl, you better than me. I don't know how you're doing it." <laughs> you know, they give you the opinion whether you want it or not. Do you ever listen or like? I can't. I, can't I mean, imagine. I, I I I try not to be rude, but you're not always in the mood for it. But it comes along with the territory when you put your business out there. You know, it gives people. I guess it feels like they have the right to give you their opinion, so it just comes along with it. We live in this age of social media now. It, talk to me about how you guys are using social media to connect with your fans. I probably don't use it enough. I think he's a little better at it than I am. Yeah, your social media accounts are great. How do you use it to connect? Um, it's, it's, it's an easy way to connect with the fans, especially for the music and for the videos if you're trying to sell something. I mean, it's, I'd say it's a grown-up video game, but you know, everybody's always on social media, so you know, you got to utilize it right. You guys are awesome. Congratulations on the new show and look forward to seeing it. I've seen clips and it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. So congratulations, guys. A lot of fun, all right. <laughs> I love that reaction. <laughs> is it hard putting it all on camera, by the way? Some days. Some days is extremely hard. Some days is, is a breeze, you know, for the most part. I mean, it's not, it's not really scripted what we do. We're actually kind of living out the things that we're going through. So, you know, some things are good and some things are bad in a relationship if you're in a relationship you could totally understand you know women are always right no matter what you do remember that cameras are no cameras <laughs> it took him a long time to figure that out though was it tough what is it like dating a music star obviously i can't even oh, imagine it's, it's it's trying yeah you have to have a lot of patience and you have to have a solid connection with the person you know because they're pulled in so many directions that it's important that you and you, you and that person have a certain understanding. Was it difficult for you, Jim, obviously transitioning in terms of it giving, you know, when you talk about giving up that lifestyle, is it something you were ready for or just? Um, I don't really feel like I'm giving it up. She's, a, she's, she's part of my, of, of my lifestyle. I mean, I'm not running around all crazy anymore, but for the most part, most part we still live a pretty exciting life. We um we not just cooped up at home like like the Cosby's or anything. <laughs> we get lit. We turn up. 